Hi everyone, this is Madison. Welcome to another tip presented by JSCM Group. This video is the first in a series that will cover the IPsec mobile VPN. In this video, I want to show you the basic steps on how to set up the VPN on your firewall. Setting up an IPsec VPN is an easy way to allow your users a secure connection into your network from a remote location. For example, if you have salespeople or other individuals in your network who travel frequently but need a secure connection into your company's documents, you can create an IPsec VPN for them to use. In order to set up an IPsec VPN on my firewall, we will go into Policy Manager and then go to VPN, Mobile VPN, IPsec. The IPsec VPN is the only one that allows me to create multiple configuration profiles. Click Add. This will open the IPsec VPN wizard. Throughout this setup, there will be a few key pieces of information that we will need. The first is which authentication server we're going to use and what security group the users must be a member of. For the purposes of this setup, we're going to allow the firewall to act as our authentication server. Next, we will set up a tunnel passphrase to ensure a secure connection. Make sure to document this, as you may need it when setting up the client on your end user computers. Next, we will choose how we want our tunnel to operate. These options will be discussed in another video in this IPsec VPN series. Now we choose what access our VPN users will have when they are connected. By default, they have access to all internal resources, shown here with this 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 entry, as well as the internet. We can instead lock it down so they only have access to a particular subnet or individual IPs. Next comes our virtual IP address pool. This is what IPs our VPN will assign to the users when they connect. You can take IPs out of your trusted range, or you can do what I like to do and create a new subnet. Whichever you choose, make sure you have enough IPs for the number of people that will be connecting. Finally, if we're using the Firebox as our authentication server, we can go ahead and add the users to the group so that they can connect. The last step in the setup process is to go ahead and grab the configuration files that we will need for the setup on our end user devices. We will see that the firewall generates four different file types. The version we need is dependent upon which VPN client we are using. This finishes up our setup of the IPsec VPN on the firewall side. In the next video of this series, we will walk you through the setup of the client on the end user device. Also keep an eye out for videos on the different tunnels that our IPsec VPN provides, as well as how to lock down the VPN access through firewall policies. This tip has been presented by JSCM Group. Check us out online at www.jscmgroup.com. If you would like more in-depth WatchGuard training, make sure to check out our upcoming training schedule found on our website. You can also find our WatchGuard blog for this and other helpful tips. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.